Alice? Here I am. Hello everybody! Today we will talk about the group Hinapia, a re-debut group of former Pristin members. Sadly, the once five-member group had to be disbanded only nine months after debuting due to the effects of the pandemic. We'll take a look at their short career and the effects the pandemic had on them as a group. Four out of the five members of Hinapia used to be members of the already disbanded girl group Pristin, which debuted back in 2017. The originally 10-member girl group released two mini-albums in 2017 and debuted the subunit Pristin V a year later. Despite millions of views, streams and thousands of albums sold, the group went radio silent for a year before being officially disbanded by Pledis Entertainment, the company that managed them, in May of 2020. Pristin's management and the waste of their talent remains a mystery among K-pop fans, and there are a lot of videos on the matter out there, so we won't go into any more detail here. Four out of the ten members of Pristin, being Mingyun, Gyeongwon, Unu and Yebin, decided to sign with OSR Entertainment after their contract termination with Pledis Entertainment. OSR Entertainment was founded in 2019. Hinapia would be their only artist. As of making this video, their website is taken down and their Twitter account hasn't been updated since February of 2020. According to fans, the company also took down their company sign in August of 2020, so there is no information if the company is still up and running. In October of 2019, OSR Entertainment announced the debut of the first group consisting out of the four former Pristin members alongside Bada, a hidden member. Social media accounts were opened, revealing the group name to be Hinapia, short for High New Amazing Utopia. Hinapia debuted on November 3rd with their first single album New Start, including the title track Drip. The song did considerably well internationally, reaching over 3 million views on YouTube since release and even almost 6 million streams on Spotify. Music video performances also reached hundreds of thousands of views, showcasing the great interest in the group. The song also debuted at number 18 on the Billboard's World Digital Song Sales Chart, a major achievement for a debut. The group continuously uploaded content on their social media and interacted with their fans frequently. Starting off 2020, Korean news sites shared that the group would be making their first comeback in March. However, when March came, the entire world was hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, and with rapidly rising cases all around the globe, South Korea drastically increased its safety measures. Member Minkyun later revealed that the agency had to postpone their comeback. Hinapya went silent in the following months, and no news on the comeback were shared. Content started to slow down and stopped completely starting summer of 2020. In August of 2020, rumors spread online that OSR Entertainment had shut down their office building. Fans started to become really worried about the group's future. On August 21st, OSR Entertainment released an official statement revealing that they had to disband Hinapia and all the members agreed to terminate their contracts with the company. Fans were heartbroken and shocked about another disbandment after only nine months. Hinapia's case is a very drastic example of how the COVID-19 pandemic had brutal effects on the K-pop scene and especially its smaller figures. OSR being a relatively new company with only Hinapia to manage probably relied heavily on investors. That means that people or other companies spent money on the company in hopes of financial success and a bigger payback. These investitions are very common in any industry and especially used in the K-pop scene. Promising idol groups are backed by investors who lend their money for promotions in hopes of the group hitting big and paying them back much more than the investment. With the pandemic starting, a lot of companies started to see drastic financial losses. 
One easy way to save the company from even more risk is to minimize or even completely stop all investitions the company has in other projects. With the investors taking back all their money, the entertainment company is left without any funds to support their artists. Another big factor are the restrictions on social gatherings. Idols usually promote themselves through big gatherings like events, concerts or busking events. They need to reach a lot of new potential fans in a short amount of time, so they are invited to festivals where big grooms perform or hold busting events on the streets to promote themselves. With social distancing rules coming into effect to prevent any further spread of the disease, these income sources completely broke away. This affected the entire industry and it took a while to implement new techniques of reaching fans through virtual ways. Online concerts and online fan meets started taking place, but big concerts were stopped without any replacements. This also led to a drastic loss of possible income. It is very likely that OSR Entertainment ran out of funds and had to close down, therefore having to disband Hinapia. What's really interesting is that OSR Entertainment asked the members of Hinapia to terminate their contracts with the company. When signing a contract, both parties agree to set terms and conditions. If one party is unhappy with the other, it can try to terminate the contract. This usually only works when the other party is breaching contract rules. In Hinapia's case, the members did not breach any rules. They fulfilled the company's demand of being an idol fully. It was the company that couldn't fulfill their conditions in the form of caring for the idols financially. Because OSR Entertainment was the party breaching the rules, they had to ask the members to terminate their contracts with the company so the connections could be cancelled. Since the disbandment of Hinapia in summer of 2020, the members went separate ways. Member Mingyung and Gyeongwon have been focusing on modeling. Member Unu has been active as a social media influencer and recently opened up a YouTube channel. Members Yebin and Bada have also been active on social media. There are no news of any of the members returning to idol life. The story of Hinapia is really heartbreaking. All of the members worked really hard for their chance to debut in the first place. Four of them, even after their initial debut, didn't bring them the lasting career they were hoping for. Just for their hopes to be crushed again and all their hard work to go down the drain once again. The pandemic had brutal effects on people all around the world. With millions of people dying, the majority of us should be so lucky to not be affected so heavily. The idol industry was also heavily affected with a lot of small groups being disbanded due to financial difficulties. Nobody can say what could have happened to Hinapia if no pandemic ever existed. But we can say that the pandemic ended these careers and dreams of these five girls. Bada has spent less than a year in the idol industry. Mingyoung became a trainee in 2014 and has spent six years of her life in the idol industry. Kyungwon became a trainee in 2014 and has spent six years of her life in the idol industry. Unu became a trainee in 2013 and has spent seven years of her life in the idol industry. Yebin became a trainee in 2011 and has spent nine years of her life in the idol industry. The social media accounts of the former members are linked down below. Please support them. Thank you for watching.